Hello, my friend. Last week we talked about starting a journey within ourselves. This week I want to talk about how mindfulness offers us a perspective on our connection to the world that guides us on that path. Welcome to Mindfulness for Beginners. Human beings are often portrayed as independent units, separate from the planet that we live on. But of course, we can't survive without the support of the people around us. and We can't survive without the environment that we live in. In lots of different ways, we're physically integrated into and part of the changing world around us. So when we breathe, we absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. When we eat an orange, we absorb the nutrients. When we go for a walk, our feet exert a force on the ground and we use the energy from the orange. The light from the sun feeds the orange tree that feeds us. And taking a big step back, everybody in the universe is connected through its gravity. So there's a black hole out there that's being influenced by you. And we like to think of ourselves sometimes as discreet and unchanging, but in reality, we're in constant flux. Uh, As Heraclitus says, no one bathes in the same river twice. It's not the same river and we're not the same person. And our ancestors are in us as well. Our genes are passed down from generation to generation. I can look in the mirror and see the face of my father, especially when I look at my hairline. But most of my culture, knowledge and personality comes from my mother. And our modern culture places a lot of emphasis on the individual. There's a great BBC article, which I'll link to in the description, and it talks about studies of cultural differences in individualism. And that shows that in the West, we tend to place a much stronger emphasis on being independent and self-contained. We value personal success over collective success. But we can lose a lot of what makes our lives rich when we lose our connection to the world. We're social animals, we're altruistic beings, and I believe that being kind and helping each other is our true nature. And we can see that through the connections in our culture, emotionally, spiritually. We can see that our families, our friends and our teachers have given us the knowledge, our beliefs, our view of the world, our capacity for compassion, uh, the seeds of joy, the seeds of freedom, but also the seeds of fear and anger. These don't just appear from one generation to the next. They've been passed down for hundreds of generations. And we can, through mindfulness, choose to become aware of these seeds, look deeply into the roots, and understand the beliefs that drive them. And through this process, we can learn and grow, liberating ourselves from suffering and transforming that suffering into joy. So we have the choice to see ourselves as interbeing with the food that we eat, interbeing with our ancestors and interbeing with the black hole. We're not a permanent separate person. And Thich Nhat Hanh says that much of our suffering comes from this view. Interbeing is the sense that we are connected to other people on the earth and we can't exist separately. And it's a fundamental perspective for developing your mindfulness practice. So in order to be able to liberate ourselves from suffering, we have to move away a little bit from the idea of us as individuals and embrace the fact that we're a continuance of everyone that's been before and the earth. And that's what we're going to do a guided meditation on. So if you want to take a moment to make yourself comfortable, and I'll start with three sounds of the bell. Firstly, focusing on our posture 
And I would invite you to imagine that you have a thread attached to the crown of your head. And it's gently pulling you upwards into an upright position. Your spine like a stack of coins. Your heart raised upwards and outwards. Your hands comfortably in your lap. Moving your awareness to your body. Noticing if you feel warm or cold. Noticing if you feel tense or relaxed. Becoming aware of the sensation of the clothes against your skin. And the points of contact between your body and the chair and the floor. Shifting your attention to your thoughts and feelings. And as we go through the guided meditation, noticing each thought as it arises. And that might be an anxious thought about tomorrow. It could be a happy thought about today. It might be a sad thought about yesterday. Just sitting with each thought for a moment. Allowing it to leave and gently and without judgment, bringing your attention back to your breath. And finally, focusing your awareness in your breath, noticing that column of air between your nose and your diaphragm, noticing how the air feels cooler on the way in. Warmer on the way out. Seeing my eyes, I breathe in. Smiling to my eyes, I breathe out. Seeing my eyes, smiling.
Seeing my eyes are brought about by the coming together of the elements, I breathe in. Seeing my eyes cease to be with the dissolution of the elements, I breathe out. Eyes. Elements. Seeing my eyes containing the sunshine, I breathe in. Seeing my eyes containing the cloud, I breathe out. Eyes contain sunshine. Eyes contain clouds.
Seeing my eyes containing the earth, I breathe in. Seeing my eyes containing the air, I breathe out. Eyes contain earth. Eyes contain air. Seeing my eyes containing the whole cosmos, I breathe in. Seeing my eyes present in everything in the cosmos, I breathe out. Eyes contain cosmos, eyes in everything.
seeing the all and the one, I breathe in. Seeing the one and the many, I breathe out. All in one, one in all things. Seeing the one as basic to the all, I breathe in. Seeing all things as basic to the one, I breathe out. One as basis of all, all things as basis of one. Seeing the birthless nature of my eyes, I breathe in. Seeing the deathless nature of my eyes, I breathe out. Eyes birthless, 
Eyes Deathless. Opening your eyes, taking a moment to stretch your back or your legs if you need to, noticing any changes in your mind or in your body, and if you feel a sense of calm or peace, I would invite you to carry that through the rest of your day. And if you're interested in finding out more about interbeing, I would encourage you to join me and Dr. Laurie Bauer for the course that we'll be running uh, from the 14th of September uh, called Be Can Be Happy, which goes through the fundamentals of the practice. So the link's in the description. You can find out a bit more. I hope to see you there. And may you be happy. May you be peaceful. And may you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion. Well, I've been afraid of changing, cause I've built